Hello everyone, and welcome to my TD's guide for the evolution of combat. Even though the famous Dragon Claws are no longer worth very much money, the TDs have had a new drop, which is called the Dragon Limbs, which are used to make the Dragon Crossbow, which can be worth a fair amount of money, so they are still worth doing. They're not the best money, but if you just want to spend some time and have some fun, I would recommend coming here, especially if you did TDs before. Um, one really nice thing about this boss is I'm going to show you guys how to be using momentum today, so you will not have to spam any abilities, which makes it a lot easier. And I will get back and show you guys exactly how you want to do the lures and start killing as soon as we get there. So now that we are at the area to kill, um, it's time to go over the gear setups and all. I have a pack yak. If you don't have a pack yak, I would recommend to bring a unicorn. And if you don't have one of those, you can always just bring a war tortoise and fill it full of food. However, if you do have the pack yak, I would highly recommend bringing this over the unicorn because it's not really fun to stay here for a long amount of time anyway since the loot isn't very good. I would recommend just coming here to have a laugh and enjoy yourself more than come here to make money. In your inventory, you're going to want some overloads or extremes. Those would be nice. If you're doing extremes, just make sure to bring range or mage as well, depending on what style you're using. You're going to need dark light and the sapphire lantern to get down here. Uh, I would highly recommend to bring teletabs to get out, just in case things get a little bit hairy. And I bring a royal crossbow for range, and the reason why I'm bringing royal and not armadil is because I do not trust my internet, well, not one bit. If you do trust your internet, um, bring better gear than that. However, I just brought royal. And for my melee setup, I brought chaotic maul, bandos, ferox helm. Um, the skill cape is nice because it provides decent armor and helps with both melee and range. Uh, Barrow's gloves are good because they help with both melee and range. The same goes for the Dragon Rider boots, and then just Royal Bolts, and a Penance Ore is extremely nice here if you want to last here without using any prayer. I brought a couple prayer renewals just in case, but um, the Penance Ore will restore pretty much all your prayer. So while praying, you're not going to be able to use Soul Split here, you're going to want to be using Deflex, and make sure you bring Protect Item. As I said, I do not trust my internet, and if you feel the same way, it would be nice to use Protect Item. So you want to want run down into this area and the TDs should be grouped up like so. Make sure you have momentum on if that's what you choose to use. I'm no longer in combat so I can now toggle it. And I activated my penance aura so that will restore my prayer. And once the TDs are all grouped up like so, you want to run to this spot right here on the other side of the rock. And they are using range at the moment so it might be a good idea to pray range. And what you can do here is attack this TD and you will not be attacked by any of the other ones. You want to make very careful that you are luring them correctly so you don't get owned and once he switches to prey range you can use your dark light and weaken him now you can always set up your prayers on your action bar however I just choose to use the F keys to switch in between um, screens because that's just how the way that I'm used to doing it because I'm more of a old school TDs killer and I'm a lot more used to using the F keys to switch between prayers and inventory. Uh, the inventory key is F1 and the prayer key is F3 and you just want to make sure that you're switching correctly. Um, the TDs when they're using attack like they pick something off their shoulders and throw it at you that's their range attack. Uh, when they spit at you that's their mage attack and when they swipe their hand at you that's their melee attack. It's very important that you're always praying the correct style because they can easily hit 1000 plus and often do with their attacks so it's important that you're always praying the correct style uh, I did bring the charm collector if you don't have one that's fine because um, it's not that hard to just run and pick up the charms yourself but it just makes it a little bit easier so there's the first TD down and we get adamant bars as a drop and gold charms which I don't need um, the next t this TD actually spawned from more in the east or western area so when the one I just killed spawns I might have two TDs on me and that's okay it does take a bit of getting used to to lure them. Basically, if you see where this TD is right here, he's on the southern side of this rock. What you want to do is run down here. And then he's using range, so it's a good idea to pray range. And he'll come down into the uh, space between these two rocks. And then you just want to run to this space right here. And the TD will come up really close to the rock so that the other ones can't hit you. And how you get these this one lured on the eastern and western sides. As you saw, this one just spawned. So what you want to do is just trap him behind the rock. Just attack him, stand behind the rock again, 
and he will not no longer be able to attack you. So that's exactly what you want. And now I'm completely safe from all the TDs except for this one, which is the one I'm going to be killing, so that's okay. Just make sure you don't get them all piled on you because that can be extremely damaging. TDs really just are a boss that takes a lot of time getting used to the lures and everything. Uh, if you are taking a lot of damage at the start, uh, don't be frightened. Uh, you will get used to it through time if you ever decide to come here again. As you can see, if you are praying the correct style, the TD will only hit ones on you, so it will not be that damaging. That's why it's very important to pray the correct style. Otherwise, you'll be hit for 1,000 plus constantly, and that is that makes it for a very dangerous way to kill. And unfortunately, his shield switched on at the very end. Sometimes that happens, especially when you're using not the best gear like me, and you're not the best at switching because I'm recording right now, and it's a bit difficult to multitask. But um, there's another kill down, and now you just cycle in this TD by running down to this spot, and the TD should go into the gap between these two rocks. And then you just run right back up here, pray in range because he's using range. And once you run up here, the TD will come right into the area where you want to fight him. Just like that. And what you can do is you can either wait for the next TD to spawn, or you can go over and kill this one on the far eastern side, if you wish, if you're impatient and don't want to wait for the TD to spawn. However, that can be a bit dangerous because when the middle one spawns, you will be attacked. You just got to make sure uh, you're wary of him, and you can usually kill about half of one TD while you're waiting for the other one to spawn. That's how I like to do it, if that makes sense. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching my guide. If you have any questions on how to kill TDs, you can always join my friends chat and game, which is Monkozunki, and I will answer you if you ask me any questions in there. You can also PM me if my PM is on, although it is not always on. I can't guarantee that it will be. So the easiest way to reach me is usually by joining my friends chat. Anyway, I'm not the most experienced TDs killer in the evolution of combat, but I did kill them a lot before, and it's not too much different if you use momentum. It can also be helpful to have sounds on if you want, because it's easier to hear what attacks the TDs are using. Anyway, hopefully I can give you some helpful tips through this guide, and farewell.